Route 66 was the first route across the United States, basically from Chicago all the way to the West Coast, Los Angeles. It was a visionary program back then, uh, founded by a guy called Mr. Avery. He had this vision that uh, the country needs such a route. This was way before the interstates, in a time where, where most of the transportation was still by, by horses. So this is a visionary project if it fits very well uh, with what we are doing at first. If you go 2,500 miles all the way from Chicago into Los Angeles, you cross areas with 110 degrees of, of uh, outside temperature all the way down to, to 50 degrees. Um, uh, you drive and charge and drive and charge. You do really stress test uh, to the car. So we wanted to understand where we are. My name is Raul Garcia from the Test and Validation Group. We're here in St. Louis starting our day two road trip on Route 66. On this trip, we're doing a more uh, real world scenario. Uh, we have our CEO with us uh, doing the full trip with us. And so he's giving us a different perspective, not just from the engineering side, but from more of a consumer side. We, we are talking about third internet living space. We tell everybody this can be an office on this. I wanted to see uh, on, 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 on a day to day basis what this really means. We were able to support uh, video call functionality while moving uh, for lengthy periods of time. Concern for me was whether we would have enough data connectivity going through areas of remote Oklahoma, Texas, and New Mexico. But uh, fortunately, all, all of those systems worked fantastically throughout the entire trip. One of the meetings I clocked at two hours and 10 minutes. Uh, some people would just stop in the middle of the road, park their car, and just swing by and then start asking questions, engaging Karsten. The real value of this trip is really only being discovered now as we're digging through the treasure trove of data that was collected on this trip, both in real time and also through driver and passenger feedback. We're finding tons of great feedback across design, across engineering, to make this vehicle even better for production. We have a crew of 10 to 15 people who cycle through between this trip and they have so much diverse background, including our CEO himself. One thing that I had never personally experienced was the zero gravity seats and how, how that would feel from a noise and vibration perspective when you're in that experience. So thankfully, this trip gave me that opportunity to experience that zero G seating. My role in this trip specifically is to focus on these seats, rear seats in specific. The FF91 is an ultra premium luxury vehicle and it's all about the rear seat and how the humans interact, how the occupant interacts with all these surfaces and all these uh, features that we have in this car. The range we found is uh, within our, our expectations. Range and charging are always uh, something to be thought about when driving the, an EV. The hot weather and speeds that we're driving at it never was a, an issue where we we're near any kind of situation that we could run out of range. This trip not only validated my confidence in 9.1, it reassured me in, in its performance. The chassis, the, the body, the, the battery, the thermal, uh, all worked uh, above and beyond expectation. Working with Karsten on a daily basis uh, showed his dedication to the product and to the team. He spent 10 days in different seats of the 9.1 from driving it to sitting shotgun to both rear seats and used every feature and function and reported back his findings and issues with the vehicle. It shows that he's dedicated to executing and delivering a refined product. We wanted to share this experience that they can see that this reality what we are talking. It is a great product and it's a product which is very different from anything else you can see in the market right now. The product we have is very mature and it's a very solid foundation to move forward and to really launch it within the remaining 12 months what we promised. Anytime somebody was there, our CEO would be there as well and explaining the, our vehicle, our technology and people were just really impressed with that. Let me say thank you to the whole team first who prepared this trip, who supported me. I think it was a great success. I want to say thank you to Route 66 for, for having us, for hosting us, 
uh, all the great people along the route who we, we, we met and who gave us insight into the history and into the future. And I hope that uh, uh, in, in the near future we will see a lot of FF9 runs driving a Route 66 going all the way from Chicago to, to Los Angeles in a very high level and, and luxury environment.